Welcome to today's video where we'll be discussing why Brian Reynolds is a standout baseball player and why I think he got absolutely robbed by the Pittsburgh Pirates. Make sure you stay tuned throughout the video so you can see my explanation and the reasoning why I think that. For those of you who don't know, Brian Reynolds is a professional baseball player for the Pittsburgh Pirates and in this video we'll dive into the reasons why he's considered one of the better players in the game and what sets him apart from others on the baseball field. First and foremost, Brian Reynolds is known for his exceptional hitting ability. In a time where we don't see many guys hitting for high average, he has a career 282 average where two out of his four seasons in the MLB he hit over 300. He possesses an excellent hand-eye coordination, making him a consistent and formidable, and formidable hitter. Reynolds has a smooth and compact swing, allowing him to make solid contact with the baseball consistently. He also has an excellent play discipline and pitch recognition skills, enabling him to lay off pitches outside of the strike zone and capitalize on pitches in his wheelhouse. His ability to hit for both average and power, if you want to call an average of 20 home runs a year, somebody that has power, makes him a valuable offensive asset for his team. Now, let's talk about the contract that he just got. Reynolds just signed an eight-year, $106.75 million contract at the age of 28, which comes out to an AAV, which stands for annual average value, of $13 million. Let's compare him to outfielders who signed a contract in the last year in the offseason, and let's put some context behind it. Brandon Nimmo signed for eight years, $162 million. AAV of $20 million with the Mets at his age 30 season. He signed this at 30 years old. Remember, Reynolds is 28. Nemo has only played more than 100 games two times in the seven years he has been in the MLB. Most of this has been because of injury, which only helps Reynolds' case. Next, Yoshida signed a five-year $90 million deal with the Red Sox with an AAV of $18 million in his age 29 season. Yoshida had never seen an MLB pitch and was still able to get $18 million a year compared to Reynolds' $13 million a year. Let's move on to Andrew Benintendi. Signed for five years, $75 million, AAV of $15 million with the White Sox at his age 28 season. Benintendi is a career 279 hitter who owns a WRC plus of 109, which is well below what uh, uh, Brian Reynolds produces. Next, Mitch Hanniger signed for three years, $43.5 million, AAV of $14.5 million at his age 32 season. Still higher than the Reynolds $13 million. Hanniger has only played over 100 games two times out of his six years in the bigs. And lastly, Michael Conforto signed for two years, $36 million, AAV of $18 million at his 30 season, coming off of an average hitting season in 2021 and missed the whole 2022 with surgery. Now let's look at some numbers. WRC plus, weighted runs created plus for these players' careers that I mentioned above. Obviously, we can't include Yoshida because he was playing in the Japan Professional League and we can't compare those stats to the MLB. So let's look at it. Brian Reynolds, 126, which is an above average hitter in the MLB. Brandon Nemo, 136. But guess what? He can't stay on the field. He had two seasons with above 100 games played, once again. And the rest are 92 games, 69 games, 69 games, 55 games, and 32 games played in seven years. And you're telling me he was able to get more money than Brand Reynolds. That's ridiculous. Andrew Benintendi, 109 WRC plus, which puts him in the average to below above average. Still not a better hitter than Brian Reynolds. Mitch Hanniger, 122, still below Reynolds 126. But once again, Mitch Hanniger can't stay on the field just like Brandon Nimmo. And lastly, Conforto, 124 WRC plus, which is still below Reynolds 126. And Conforto was still able to get $16 million a year after having the average 2021 hitting season and missing all of 2022. I think Reynolds got desperate. I think Reynolds got robbed. I think Reynolds will regret it. Yes, the Pirates are playing well right now. But we all know how that team is constructed right now. 
It will all fall apart soon. Pirates have a history of not paying any free agent guys, so it's not like all of a sudden they're going to start paying guys and bringing guys around him to make the team any better. I truly don't understand why he would sign that deal, especially after the disrespect they showed him by offering him six years, $80 million over the offseason, while he wanted $134 million for eight years in the offseason, which that has an AAV of $16.75 million, which is better than the $13 million that he was able to get just today. Contracts keep getting bigger. If he would have been patient for two more years, which is when he became a free agent, he would have gone, he should have gone at least $175 to $200 million if he kept producing at the pace that he produces every year. Ryan Reynolds has played in 90% of his team's games in his four-year career so far, which is way more than what Nemo and Hanniger have both done. I am disappointed in that contract, just like how I was when Acuna made a mistake as well. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Did Reynolds get robbed? Also, please leave a like and subscribe for more baseball content throughout the year. Thank you for tuning in. See you on the next one.